In this video, I'm gonna show you the first few steps to getting started with your YouTube stream with your live cam, live streaming camera from CCTV Camera World. So first, you are gonna to need to make sure that your account is activated. Here we are on the CCTV Camera World YouTube account, which is already activated. So there's two ways that you can get to the live streaming page. So you can either click the create button up here at the top and click the go live button, or you can do it from your studio by clicking on your icon at the top right hand side, and then clicking into YouTube studio, and then clicking the create and go live button at the top here. So either way, you're gonna to wanna to click the create and go live button at the top right hand side of YouTube, regardless of if you're on the home page or if you're in the YouTube studio page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the go live button. Now, depending on if this is your first YouTube stream on your YouTube account, you may get a couple of pages, in which case you'll want to either schedule your stream or start streaming right away. And you wanna select the streaming software so although you're using a camera technically it is a streaming software it's not using a webcam that's connected to your computer so once you're in here you will be greeted with a page to create your stream however we already have our stream created so i'm going to click the edit button which will look similar to the types of things that you'll be setting up when you first set up your stream so you'll have to give your stream a title here i've named our stream the CCTV camera world live stream, and then you're gonna to wanna to give it description. So we gave ours a nice description here, you know, the globe is invited to witness this camera, and then we added a few links to here. And as I mentioned, when you, uh, how do you wanna go live? So you would choose the streaming software option. You could set your visibility to private just to kind of test your stream and get it online. Of course, you're going to want to choose the category for your stream. Ours does fall under the science and technology. And here are the other categories that you can choose from. We did upload a thumbnail for ours. If you wanted to upload your own custom thumbnail, you could do so here. And then we could change it by clicking the three dots to change it. Playlist, if you want to add your live stream to a live stream playlist or another playlist on your YouTube studio page. And then the audience, if you want to market for kids or not for kids, typically you're going to want to click the safe bet and make sure it's not made for kids. This will keep it off of the YouTube kids uh, section and leave it in the wide open YouTube sphere so more people will be able to see your stream. Then on the customization tab, I'm gonna scroll up to the top here. You can turn your live chat on or turn it off and you can turn live reactions on. If you need to have slow mode, if you have a ton of people in your chat and you are having a hard time reading messages, you can turn on slow mode in the customization page here. So hopefully that helps you get some of the customization options ready. And now we're ready to create our stream key. So I am going to show you that the stream URL is the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to copy here. But first you're gonna to wanna to open up a notepad. So you're either gonna to wanna to write this down on a plain Jane piece of paper with a pen or pencil, or you're gonna to wanna to come down here to your Windows computer and open up a notepad. So I'm gonna open up the notepad app and as I mentioned, the first thing I'm gonna to need to copy is the stream URL, so I can go ahead and come down here and click the copy button. Or for our more tech savvy users, you can simply highlight this and do control C or right click and click copy. Then I'm gonna open my notepad back up and I'm gonna right click and click paste, or again for tech savvy users, control V. So the important thing here is you are gonna to wanna to put a forward slash. So you need the RTMP, the server that you're gonna upload your stream to, and then add a forward slash. Now keep in mind, your server may be different. It may be something like b.rtmp and live one or something other like that. So it will be unique for you. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get your stream key. So it says to paste this in the encoder. Essentially your encoder would be your camera. So I need to copy this and you can either show the stream key and copy it or again simply click the copy button now it's really important you're going to want to keep this stream key private do not share the stream key with anybody because if they have your stream key it means they can use this similar url and then kind of hijack your stream so make sure you keep that this stream key private so that is the first two steps to getting your camera online you need to make sure you activate your youtube account log into your youtube account go into youtube studio hit the create and go live button make sure that you select if you want to schedule your stream or start streaming now and then select the streaming software option and then make sure that you give your stream a title Make sure you give it a description, make sure you give it a category, and then make any other customization changes that you wanna to make to your stream. 
Again, by the end of this, you should have your stream URL from YouTube with a forward slash after the live part and then your stream key at the end, remembering to keep your stream key private. Hopefully this video helps you get logged into your YouTube account, get to the streaming page, and then craft your stream key URL. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.